Hello. And Pilot Wings 64 has an amazing soundtrack. Original Pilot Wings has a good soundtrack too. Um, I should maybe play one of those games, even though I'm absolute ass at them. Although, I think I would play Pilot Wings 64. I like that one much more. Pardon me. <clears throat> I hope you're good. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I, I noticed this uh, last week sometime. Uh, I'm now getting an hour of no pre-rolls. So, like, the entire time that I'm streaming that I'm not running an ad, there is no pre-roll. And I don't know why that happened. I'm not complaining. I'm very happy about it. Because I feel less bad about running ads now. Because it makes that the newcoming viewer experience that much better. Unless I show up right when I'm running ads. But even still. <clears throat> um, alright. Huh. I'm surprised. Usually there's like some form of, uh... Um... Communications, correspondence with the, the users of the platform. I I don't remember ever getting an email. Maybe it went to my junk folder and I just ignored it. Because I never checked that shit. Huh. Either way, works out for me. Um, I ended up... Uh, <clears throat> Ended up getting a physical copy of uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, I was a little worried I wasn't going to because of limited run nonsense. And it's still a limited run. Uh, I don't think Nintendo's going to do too many more pressings. Maybe like pressings. It doesn't mean anything in this day and age when they're not on discs. But uh, I don't th I don't see Nintendo doing more than, you know, the two runs, maybe three I don't think they expected it to sell like it did. Um, either way, I'm happy that I have one. Uh, will I ever open it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll play it on stream. Maybe, maybe that's a... I always seem to play Metroid games in October because they're technically horror. <laughs> or at least they're trying to be. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I could do that. I'm not going to. All right. Terra, uh, Terra's route. To prepare for the impending night of the Scarlet Moon, a catastrophe that recurs once every 400 years. Ochet sets out on a journey to find three creatures of legend and bring them back to the island. One of them is said to slumber here at Crackridge. Also, hello, Jagroon. I, I hope you're doing well. One creature alighted on red wilds, the mountain glowed and boiled with heat, as its time to erupt drew near. And the creature struck a blow of rage. The mountain cracked and, and sank into a valley. The creature of legend that guarded the land was named Terra. Tara, where are you? I don't think that's gonna work. These wilds are vast. <sighs> where can Tara be? That freeze could have been more specific. I'm not picking up a scent. How about your nose? Nothing? Nope. Not a whiff. You sniffed out dinner from a distant forest. Even as a beast, I defer to you. <laughs> You've got the brains, though. <gasps> Wait, I got a twinge. <laughs> Good old animal instincts. I think Tara might be nearby. Should we check this town? Sounds like a plan. What are you doing? 
eating. I can't hunt on an empty stomach. It dulls my senses. Oh shit. Uh, the voice actor that does Ochet's voice is the voice of Makima in Chainsaw Man. That's neat. That lady's up to nefarious deeds. And I don't trust anything that she's putting out. I'm excited. I, I look forward to the next season hey, of lady. Chainsaw Man. What you got there? It was very good. I've never seen one of those. Can I pet it? <sighs> Akala, be nice. You never know what a human might try. Not this human. I don't smell any hostility, do you? I trust my experiences over my nose. You won't make any friends that way. I don't need any. I have you. Ah. Sit, Akala. Sorry if that startled you. Have some jerky on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how I'd feel if somebody was just like, "Oh, sorry. Here, here, have some jerky." <laughs> Say, that's a cute piece of fluff on your behind. <laughs> I've never seen the like. Is it rabbit skin? Huh? This? Uh, no. This is my tail. <laughs> You're such a kidder. <laughs> Uh, all that aside for a moment, do you know where Terra is? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Terra? Oh, what's wrong? Uh-oh. Not again. You stood through the whole thing? I'm impressed. Thanks. But, uh, what was that tremor? You there. You said Terra, didn't you? Is this an instance of uh, he who should not be there. named? Hey there. Do you know where Terra is? Indeed I do. Far below us, fast asleep. When we anger it by interfering with its sleep, the very ground shakes. As it did just now, in fact. Who was fool enough to disturb it? Ah, <gasps> Terra's in the valley? I came to find it and take it home. Say what? Say what? Will you take me to where Terra is? Stomach playing up again. Uh, sorry, I'm in no condition to act as guide. Uh huh. Or chat. I know. I smelt the lie too. <sighs> well, what can you do? Terra must be real scary. We'd better find someone else to show us the way. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I was going to add on to my thoughts about Chainsaw Man. I think Chainsaw Man is, looks really good. Um, has an interesting story and interesting characters. I like the blending of CG with uh, actual animation. I think it looks really good. And it makes me kind of want to check out that new Trigun. Just because like the, the few clips I've seen of that look really, really good too. But I'm not... I don't know. Trigun was one of my first anime, and I don't know if I want to go back to it because it kind of fell off towards the end of it. Excuse me, do you know where Terra is? Terra? Of course I do. Huh. How come you aren't quaking in fear like everyone else we ask? <laughs> I'm too hungry to fret over Terra. Want some jerky? Hey, are you a hunter? Oh, let me ask you a favor. A favor? Oh, I can imagine. Like what? I've got a hankering for butter meat like you wouldn't believe. Oh no, that's like my favorite They're thing that I have in my. Here, but I'm so hungry. I, I don't want to kill move. another one. I don't want to kill the one I have. So, would you go rustle one up for me? Let me add that if it came in the form of tasty, fragrant jerky, I wouldn't be upset at all. You ever dried a butter meat? It's a deeper, smokier flavor. Finally, someone who understands. We can talk about Terra after that. You have my word. Damn it. What's up, Aggie? Seeing how hungry Palm is made me think of Paula. I hope she's eating well. Oh, your little sister. Paula might seem carefree, but she gets lonely easily. When her mother died, she cried for so long. I could barely even get her to eat. Hope she's doing all right without me. I'm sure she's fine, Aggie. Everyone eats when they get hungry enough. You're right. I'm overthinking it. Thank you, Ochet. All right. Um, man, I don't want to get rid of my meat. My butter meat. Don't I already, hold on. Do I already have aromatic jerky? Get another butter meat. Come on. Out of my way. I guess I'll just kill the one that I have. Poor butter meat. Cleaning time. <laughs> it's my turn now. Yeah, one last battle out of it. On, I'm gonna dance around. Oh, it's gonna be delicious jerky in just a moment. My turn. There. Hmm. <laughs> They're broken. It's my turn now. See what happens. Nothing good. Oh, that's something. No. It's much better to do whatever I set my mind to. I wonder what it'll be. Ow.
Um, all right, jobs. You. Um, I need one more to unlock. No, I need... Damn it, I need one more. Wait, wait, wait. Speed plus 55. Let's make the butter meep and make it into delicious jerky. I know, I know. Let's go find that boy so we can give him this jerky before it uh, mysteriously disappears into my stomach. Because I'm hungry. You made me kill my buttermeep, you asshole. You better show me where Terra is. Oh wow. Buttermeep. And turned into this magnificent jerky. Thank you. Excuse me a moment. Uh-huh. So good. So rich, so tasty. Practically melts in your mouth. Shit, now I kind of want some jerky. It's like a dream come true. You're some jerky maker. It's all about how you take down your prey. We hunters have a saying. To enjoy the meat of your quarry is to give it honor and glory. It must be great to be a hunter. Finding food whenever you want it. Was delicious. Now, what did you ask about? Can you tell me where Terra is? I'd be delighted to tell you. A gift of food deserves a rich reward. Can I come with you when you go? Why? Uh, sure. But why? Because I made up my mind. I'm gonna be a hunter like you. But you can't hunt Terra. A hunter? Yeah. So I can eat all the tasty food I want. Might have to kick this guy's ass. Uh, just uh, watch out for those hunter becomes the hunted situations. Come on. What are we waiting for? Let's go see Terra. Sure. That ladder leads to the valley where Terra sleeps. Why did I not consider that? I did, but I couldn't get over there. For what I'm assuming is story reasons. Hey, are daggers really useful? They seem so short. They're useful, all right. A dagger in darkness slides right into an enemy's heart. I bet your bow can't do that. Well, no. Because with a bow, I don't need to get that close. I sniff them out from a distance and make the shot by smell. But a dagger is faster and surer. I mean, with a bow, I can hunt animals across a whole canyon. Oh, with a dagger. Yeah, but a bow can... You know, if we teamed up, we'd be unbeatable. <laughs> yeah, this could be the beginning of a beautiful partnership. What if you fashioned a dagger into an arrow? <laughs> that solves both problems. Path the bed of the Titan. Danger level twenty nine. 
Energize and pawn. I'm a, I'm a little sad Ready? because uh, it's taking me a while to finish this and I'd really rather not spoil anything. So I've been avoiding watching anybody stream it, but um, one of my favorite streams to watch to do? is speed running it. And Here it's like, go. oh, I want to watch because they're really fun to watch, but it'll spoil the story. <laughs> so I, I can't. Plus, it'll also make me want to play those fights that way. And I'd rather just kind of play it how I want to play it right now. Hmm. Well, that was bad. Thinking calculations complete. Strike them down. You're finished. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. Um, I need Agnia to level up. What is the point? Huh. Oh, I went over there. Let's see. Let the show begin. Ooh. <laughs> what to do? Here we go. Really? Time to shine. Mm. Cleaning time. <laughs> hmm. Strike them down. All according to plan. It's my turn now. Oh, that's right. She is the ability that makes her go twice as she breaks somebody. Strike them down. Potentially. You're finished. Study harder. Study harder. Oh, I need that. Um, for a thing for the inventor. Oh, it's over here. Uh -huh. the hunt is on. It's probably a pretty good bow, too. If I'm being honest. Got to buy her like the most reasonable thing. Um, I only have one. Go on, then. 
cleaning time. There, eat this! Take that. All right. Still not worth giving up. Whatever I set my mind to. <laughs> my um right. my my meeple. Right. I'm hungry. Four, but I'll take I'll take the two stab. It means I can get rid of the Menticore. Did she level up yet? She did. Good. Excellent. Bed of the Titan. I've heard the stories ever since I was a child. They say Terra sleeps at the bottom, way down there. Whoa! What was that? Hmm. The wind rushes in, then out. It must be... Something's breathing. Tara's breathing. Wh what? I hate to interrupt Tara's sleep, but we need to pay it a visit. Time to jump in. Wait, Ochet. That valley wall is too dangerous to climb down. What else can we do? A wise hunter lures the tiger out of its den instead of following it in. Maybe we can lure Terra out. Good thinking, Akala. Sharp as ever. <sighs> Terra! Wait, don't shout like that or... Thanks. The breathing's getting ragged. Tara might be about to wake up. One final push, Ochet. You got it. Hmm. The arrow is still falling. Must be a long way down. <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> Another earthquake? No, this is... Oh, we gotta fight this thing. Who dares disturb my slumber? I do. Good morning, Tara. Sorry I woke you up. She's so Kalani positive. Kalani's on its way to Toto Haha. We need your help. Long and peaceful was my slumber. Huh? Until you woke me up. Tara's climbing the cliff. Brace yourself. Oh, it's a fire turtle. Oh, I don't think it'll listen to reason. Oh, well, we'll just have to take Tara down by force. Let's go, Akala. 
Come on, Tara. Okay, yeah, that sprite looks really good too. Bum, 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 bum. Man, the way that it. So. There is. The way that this boss theme kicks in, like it builds, and then as soon as like you get into combat, it starts. Reminds me a lot of what they did with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and uh, the the console fights. Um, okay, let's see. What do you like to do? Knives? Um, bows? No, no bows. Okay. Axes, yes. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have a healer on my team. Look. Um, that's fine. Weak. Hmm. Pierce the winds of frost. Okay. I think I got this mole. Not very strong, but it does enough to break it. Um, let's... Healing... Gr uh, great bunch. Uh, do I break it now? Yes. Calculations complete. Impart your wisdom, Alapax. Okay. It's fine. I forgot to buy her hired help again. Shit. Damn it. I'll take that. Okay. All right. Well, it took it away and then it gave it back. That's fine. <laughs> right. I'm starving. Physical attack on a single foe. ER. That's my quarry. Ooh. ooh, ooh. There we go. It's my turn now. Um. What does your latent power do? Spread the effects of single target skills to all not effective line skills or whatever. Okay. Oh. That works. Ready? Um, what did I want to do? I want to go twice. Um. You're open. Cleaning time. Sorry, but I won't hold back. Right. Could have been better. Need a plan. Could have been worse. Let me show you what I've learned. Help them, Ice Storm. Cleaning time. Okay. Hmm. Afraid of the dark. Open book. Ha <laughs> ha! Help them, Ice Storm. My prey 
Come on, do ice as well. It, I mean, it still works. Hmm. Calculations complete. Help them, ice storm. Ready? It's okay if you kill me. I'd hope you don't, though. Oh, that's cool. God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Oh, that was the last time I had a chance to summon her, isn't it? That sucks. Um. do anything for next turn but the turn after that All right. I'll use this. Go. oh are they just gone for good no shit Oh, they're back. Okay, good. <clears throat> Afraid of the dark. Let's go. Come! Dinner time already, Ochet? More and more. <clears throat> Happy I did what I did. <laughs> One thing that can happen, apparently. Perfect, Sorry, but I need to wrap this up. More and more. Thinking time. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be that. Calculations complete. Help them, Ice Storm. Let's go. Over. 
Let's make kill. Aver, Prince of Thieves. Never mind. I'll use this. Yeah, she needed that really badly. Uh oh. I'll take that. I'll take another one of those. Cool. Uh, sure. Okay. No. I mean, twenty-one K is not bad. Calculations complete. My turn. Hang in there. Thank you. Here we go. Here. Thanks, Ochet. <laughs> See. What to That's do? That's fine, actually. Um. Should That's kill. My quarry. Terra is weakened and can I oh I gotta capture. Okay. Looks like Terra's getting tuckered out. Time to make the capture. Get ready. My turn. Sorry, but I won't hold back. Thanks. I got a refreshing That's it. No. No one leveled up. I got I got XP times two, and no one leveled up. I feel robbed. Phew! Terra finally calmed down. Hmm. I feel logy. Perhaps I overslept somewhat. Those ears, that tail, you are a beastling. Of course, I understand now. It approaches, I take it, the night of the Scarlet Moon. I told you all that stuff already. Were you still asleep? Waking from a decades-long slumber takes time. There was a hunter, fearsomely strong, who challenged me to combat. Our battle reached the heights of ferocity, grievously wounding us both. The hunter departed, and I sank into the depths of the earth and slept. A hunter? 
winter. I have slept since then to heal my wounds. You should have woken up by now. Perhaps, but it is warm down there and quiet. A fine place to dream. Jealous. It is? Huh. Maybe just one nap. If Terra goes back to sleep, we will miss the Scarlet Moon entirely. <laughs> there you are. We were looking for you. The town has been shaking all day. Yep. Tell me it wasn't your doing. Oh, that? Uh, yeah, I kind of had a little fight with Terra. Oh. Uh, don't worry, though. Terra's coming with me now. That should be good for your stomach, right? I... I see. You're leaving our radio chat? Uh, I guess this means no more of that delicious jerky. <laughs> you learn to make your own. Not to worry. I'll come back to visit. Really? I'll treat you to a meal then. <laughs> oh, with some meat you hunted yourself? <laughs> I've given up on hunting. I'm not cut out for it. Instead of hunting... I'm going to raise cattle. They're going to be delicious. Wait and see. Ooh, now you're talking. I'll definitely be back for that. See you then. Oh, Chet makes contact with the creature of legend Terra and informs it of the peril facing Totohaha when she learns that Terra was wounded by a hunter. The young beastling marvels anew at this world beyond her home island. Shaking her head, she hurries on her way, for there is much more world she has yet to see. Ochet the Hunter Chapter 2, Terra's Route, End. Barrel banter. Yes, please. Hey, Pops. What's got you so grumpy? This is my normal face. Oh, man. Yeah. I know how that is. Now that you mention it, I've never seen you smile. All right. Time for my best impression. It's guaranteed to make you laugh. This jerky is moldy, but still tasty. This jerky is fresh, but tastes like wood. Well, Oswald, which would it be? Who's that supposed to be? The man who trained me, Master Juva, on Totohaha Island. Strange, then I always get to laugh back home. <laughs> You're an odd one. Aha! You smiled. Okay, where to next? Um. It's all level threes. Wait, level three mother's routes there? Oh, yeah. No, over there. Ah, I forgot I was on the western continent. I thought it was on the eastern one still. Uh, level three for you. Chapter three. All right. I've got... Winterblum. This is a chapter two. And I've got... Two chapter twos over here. I need to... Swap out Agnia for Casti. Wait, what level is she at?
I'm gonna go out into this area that's got really high level stuff. I should save before I do this. Oh, I know what I wanted to do uh, before that. summoned once per battle and I can't summon now Agnea's items will affect all oh do? oh that's sick cleaning time there no strike them down you're finished I've gained valuable insight. I think I have the prerequisites to make a new thing. So I'm going to do that. Oh, great blade. I need a great blade. What do I need for this? Tan toy and mythical horn. And then for this, I need an ancient cog and a natural magnetite. Let's grab it. Hmm, where do I get the gray blade? I don't just, I don't have it. And it's just equipped to somebody, do I? No. No. Shookerinos. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, so close. Every character has a fifty percent chance of acting twice when breaking. Mm, that's kind of nice. What, what, what do we got here? Show goes on, bolster break, goes on trees. I'm gonna equip that because I don't think anybody else has that equipped. No. And having more money is better than not having money. Okay. I need a great blade. I don't know where I'm gonna get that, but I need one. Um I wanted to go here. Because I'm going to fight some stuff outside of town. I want to get Agni uh, up to a reasonable... It's like just a level or two. I am going to grind slightly. Not much. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of grinding. Just a smidge. I want Agni to get uh, a couple levels. So I want her to be like level 25. What, hold on, what's she need to be for her next? Recommended 20? Oh, she's already there. Ah, we got her up to 25. That's fine. <laughs> it's too afraid to do anything here. Because it's level 45. My character's what still in the 30s, do? but... 
Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. I'll take this. All right. The winds of favor blow. Nope. Okay. No. Only one. Maybe? On, nope. I need a play. Fire. Burn. We're gonna say they're all wood woodland creatures, and they look like they're made of wood, so they're probably weak to fire. Fire! <laughs> Baby, let's go. Hey. Too slow. That's fine. Ready? Playtime is over. Watch me. Aver, Prince of Thieves. Who's next? Cleaning time. Seen worse methods. 826 JP, let's go. That seems pretty good. Invigorate and inspire an Celtic Celtic's seduction. Extend the reach of a single ally's skills all for three turns. This does not affect divine skills or skills that only affect the user. That's unfortunate. What is that bit that I got, though? Slightly fills the target's latent power gauge when the equipping character grants them an augmenting effect. Oh, that's kind of nice. I see how that can be useful. There we go. Got what I wanted from her. Back to being a dancer. Hmm. Oh, only at night? Yeah, we'll switch that out for... Um, where'd it go? This one. And actually, oh shit. Can stand to have that. explored this area very much. I did go into the manor. There really wasn't anything there. Yeah. I thought it was something that it was not. Let the experiment begin. Come on, then. 
thinking time. Fire. Burn. Ready? Now go. It's my turn now. Here we go. My turn. Sugar. Garbage. Time to shine. Just garbage. I only did one. I thought I did more than one. Ah, wasted. Not bad. Wasted. Something wrong with my turn order gauge? I think there is. Here he goes. I owe you. <laughs> yeah, it's something that happened when I did the dance. It's like you. showing the wrong order. Thinking time. That's fine. Um. Wasn't expecting that. Hang in there. Thinking time. Fire. Burn. All right. This is what it means to be a star. Can't do any of that shit because I don't have any fucking SP. God damn it. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, well, wasn't expecting that at all. Fire, burn. And he's not dead yet. I might die. So to prevent that from happening. Nothing personal. Now let's grab some food. Shit. Those two didn't get anything out of this. That's okay. It's fine. What level is she? 23. Uh, good enough. I stayed in and I'll heal her stupid ass. I just got super hosed. Because I, I, I had... I, I was out of, like, everything that makes my characters good. Less readily targeted by foes. Ooh. Yeah, actually, I will equip that. And then. Hey, hold on. Oh, I have more than one of those. Interesting. I can only have two accessories equipped. That sucks. Now her speed needs to be as high as it can go. such a decrease in physical attack though speed plus 35 would be really nice um i actually think i am going to take that instead oh get that 70 percent accuracy or elemental attack increase or 70 but point. Huh. Yeah, hey, give me that speed bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I hate to do it. True. Hate to do it. But I need that speed boost. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, now that that's all set, we're gonna go do Ochet's. Ch 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 Ooh. Hold on. Let's do cast each chapter two up there. Then once we finish with that, we'll do Throne's because it's in the same town. Assuming I have time. spend a lot of time fighting nobodies for nothing. Um, I want to save before I go.
I have business here. Casty, Winterbloom wrote. Following the clues she discovered in her treatment log, Casty arrives in the town of Winterbloom. When she arrives, she's greeted with like an old friend by the townsfolk. So this is Winterbloom. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. I have no memory of that visit, of course, and yet, I am at ease here. Hmm? It can't be! Uh... Casty! Casty, is that you? What's all this ruckus? She's back! Miss Casty is back! Casty? No kidding? Welcome back, dear. We were all hoping to see your face around here again. Excuse me, but you recognize me? Huh? What are you saying? How could I forget you after all you did for us? Oh, forgive me, but I have lost my memories. I came here in hopes of finding something that would jog my memory. Well, we'd all be happy to talk your ear off if it helps. Oh, oh boy. Time for story. A hunter who once let a minor injury fester for so long it left him bedridden. Casty narrowly saved him and made sure to give him a nice long lecture on the perils of procrastination once he recovered. Thank you. A woman utterly exhausted from taking care of her ailing mother. Casty's kind counsel helped her gather herself and see her mother off this mortal coil. She's been passing on Casty's advice to other caretakers ever since. Thank you. I'm sorry, elderly woman at 59, get out of here. That's no. Not important. That was very Oh, I already got information from her. Ooh, hidden item. Young boy whose boundless energy carries him out of doors at all times. He's absolute zero interest in books or toys, preferring instead to play his favorite game, inventing new ways to play. He may never run out of ideas. Eh, he's only ten. That was very Give him time. He will forget. Well, I didn't want to scrutinize, huh? <laughs> well, that works. <laughs> Hunter, farmer, manufacturer, and merchant is packages. He packages the meat he hunts and the vegetables he grows into preserved meals. He then sells wholesale to the town and surrounding villages. He abhors wasting food, preferring to use even the stalks and roots of his vegetables in his meals. Hmm. He'd probably use those in, like, a stock or something. Cassie discovered this woman had a malignant tumor when visiting the village as part of Ayer's apothecaries. She fortunately found it early enough to treat her and avoid a major health incident. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Just say the word, Miss Cassie. I'd be happy to chat for hours. Come to think of it, a Lady Rosa was the one closest to you. Rosa? She's ruler of these lands. You'll find her in her manor in the northwest of town.
Thank you for all your help. I'll go see her at once. Okay. Well. I hate this stupid sword. What business does it have being stuck in this rock anyway? I'm just pulling it out, but it won't budge. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. I wonder if I can break the rock with one of those pointy things that miners have. Or maybe I just need more hands to rip this right thing right out. I'll give her a sturdy pickaxe, sure. But I didn't even know I had it. What? This is one of those pointy tools the miners use. Perfect. I can use this to chip away at the rock with that stubborn sword stuck in. Alright, stand back and I'll give it a try. It worked! It worked! Ah, thank you so much. Now I can finally grow myself a proper... What? Where are you going? It's all rusted over. But I'm sure it'll look nice with a proper, proper polish or something. You never know when something like this will come in handy on your journey. Oh, proper garden. I got a rusty sword. 7,000 bucks and... Revitalizing jam. Oh. Oh, it's a it's a scent of commerce. Got it. My son will be leaving soon to pursue his dream of being a scholar. I want to give him a parting gift before he goes, but I just don't have the money. Is there anything I can give my boy to wish him well on his journey? You said this is the beloved quill of a former scholar? I can't believe you went through all that trouble for me and my boy. I, I didn't. I just kind of... Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm going to give it to him right away. Wanted to speak to me, Father? This is for you, my boy. I hope it helps you on your journey. Wait, I know what this is. They say many a scholar is fond of silver quills like these. And when a scholar retires, they usually pass their quill on to another to encourage their studies. I may not be a scholar, but the intention is the same. The path ahead of you won't be easy. There might even be times when you want to give up. But I believe in you, boy. You're going to be great someday. I just know it. Father, thank you. I swear on this quill that I'll study hard and make you proud. You already do, son. I can't wait to see you walk through that door as a full-fledged scholar. Ooh. Uh... I'll make it Here. nice on you instead of Good night. knocking your ass out. Oh, uh -huh. oh shit, yeah, let's go. That's more as long as I won't be dead weight, you won't be. Apparently you can have like, if you have it, everything set up right, you can have like eight different, uh, fo like people in your party, just followers and, and the like. What? 
No one gave me a discount at the end. That sucks. <gasps> oh my! It's me. That's right. This person seems to recognize me as well. I apologize for the sudden intrusion, but I would like to request an audience with Lady Rosa. Word of your coming has already reached us. This way, please. Butler to the Glenville family, who oversee the town of Winterbloom. She has followed Rosa like a shadow since her ladyship was young. Though a woman of few words, she has served Rosa extremely well over the years. Thank you. It would be a shame if somebody took this random treasure just sitting in your hallway. Oh no, she's sick. Ah, Casty. Good to see. <laughs> Please be at ease, Lady Rosa. Just Rosa will do. No need for formality between old friends. <sighs> so it's true. You really don't remember. There's time for that later. You need medicine. I'll... No need. I already have some. This is the medicine you prepared for me. It is? Dozens of apothecaries saw me before you came. They all declared me incurable lost cause but you were different I owe my life to your fortitude and skill oh I'm glad to hear I was able to help you would you allow me to examine you medicine appears to be slowing the disease's progress, but your entire body is showing signs of mild paralysis. At this rate, you won't last another month. I'm aware. Only a few grains of sand remain in my hourglass. Yet, I wish to live just a little longer. Rosa. Mother, I've brought your medicine. Casty? It's me, Malia. It's been so long. I've gathered balm leaves from the herb garden every day. Just like you told me. Garden? What garden? The one you planted for us. For Mother. A garden? With the right herbs, I may be able to craft a special elixir for Rosa. Would you show me to this garden of yours? It would be my pleasure. The garden is next to the house. 
I'll go ahead and unlock it. Rest easy, Rosa. I'll be back soon. Casti, how is Lady Rosa? I won't mince words. She doesn't have long. Nevertheless, she's fighting with all her strength to hold on. <sighs> Lady Rosa suffers for the sake of her family and her legacy. Malia is still a mere child of 11 years. In the laws of our land, she cannot inherit her mother's estate until she is 12. If the lady perishes before her daughter comes of age, her lands and her title will pass to her next nearest kin. So Rosa wants to pass on her estate to Malia. That's why she's so desperate. I'll do everything I can for her. I promise you. I'll see that Rosa's hopes do not crumble around her. Maybe I'll actually play it this time, Dragoon. <laughs> I have it on PS4 and I've I've never booted it up. But I don't know if I can go back to it at this point. I think I might just have to play a more modernized version. Simply so that I can um Aw, this is adorable. Uh, so that I can play it without having to stop to aim and shoot. Plus the RE engine's real good. These plants real good. are well tended. I've taken care of them every day, Casty. Just like you taught me. <laughs> You're such a good daughter, Malia. <laughs> Thanks. May I take some cuttings? I need them to mix an elixir for your mother. Help yourself. I too have a problem with using controllers for shooters Rosa at this point. Rosa is growing but... weaker by the moment. Before long, she'll be completely paralyzed. But I know just that some I can her. still struggle with. Scale bark leaf, snow grass. Can't forget the bloodberry. You can never have enough bloodberries. I should ask Malia where they are. I bet she's standing right in front of them. What was it? What was it? What did I played something. Oh, yeah, no, I have that, that Metroid Prime remaster, which apparently has really good controllers uh, support at this point. I'm... I'm contemplating playing an emulated version on Dolphin with the, the mouse and keyboard hack just so that I could play it with the mouse and keyboard because I have a feeling it would make that game infinitely better. <laughs> uh, but, 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 uh, I, I don't think I would mind playing it on the Switch. Plus, it's updated, so. Oh, yeah. I'm curious, the remastered version is supposed to be like a proper remaster, like a, a essentially a remake, not just a remaster. Um, which is, I have full intentions on learning more about it. I'll try it. I might try it out eventually. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Again, I don't, I don't know. I'm knee deep in turn-based RPGs and I don't see that ending anytime soon. So, you know. Rosa's daughter and heir to House of Glenville. The moment she turns 12 years of age, she strives to be like her mother in both public and private spheres, a feat that requires no small amount of effort. Thank you. Uh, 
Got all the ingredients I need. All that's left is to concoct her medicine. There, that should do it. Thank you, Malia. Hey, Casty. Is mother. Is she gonna die? Eventually. I won't lie to you, Malia. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Thanks for being honest. I've been with her all this time and watched her getting weaker. I expected this. Even after she became bedridden, she still put our town above all else. I... I want to follow in her footsteps. I want her to know her spirit will live on in me. <laughs> Why do I have to wait until I'm twelve? Oh, rats. I shouldn't have wasted your time while Mother still needs you. It's all right, Malia. And I promise you, I'll do everything in my power to see your wish comes true. Come on. Your mother is waiting. And she's dead. Oh, dear, Oswald. Your eyes are bloodshot. Hold on one moment. I'll whip up some eye drops. That won't be necessary. Oh, double dear. You sound all stuffed up. I hope you haven't caught a cold. My physical condition is optimal. Were you... crying? The girl's earnest passion seems to have stimulated my tear ducts. But peculiar. Oswald. It's not peculiar. The answer is quite simple. It's because you have a kind heart. Don't be dead. Okay, she's not. Greg, what are you doing here? Come to see you die, sister. Is that a new way to treat a guest? I'm here to see how our dear sickly Rosa's doing. <coughs> Bad cough, huh? You don't look so good. Worse than the last time I came by. Why not just die already? Don't worry. I'll look after your lands and... Huh? Who in the hells are you? It's Casty. Don't you recognize her? Casty? Oh, yes. That healer. One of those heirs apothecaries. You've wasted your time here. Rosa's going to bite it, and there's nothing you can... Enough! I will not permit you to insult our guest, Greg. Hey, no need to get all snippy. All I'm saying is... If you have something to say, you'll address it to me. I am the lady of this house. Ugh, fine. I've had my fill of this place for today anyway. Speaking of which, I'm a guest in your house too. You can at least see me to the door. Very well, if you'll follow me. Lady Malia, are you sure? Of course, I shall handle this. Damn, why'd that healer have to show up now? I am sorry you had to see that. Greg is my nephew. He 
He's not a bad man. He simply wants to change this town for the better. No, that's the lie he tells you to you keep telling and yourself. He is too hasty. He plans to force his vision upon the people and in his hurry to help, ignores their needs. So that's why you're so desperate to have Malia inherit your title. Forgive me, but I think I need to rest now. <coughs> Rosa, I've made an elixir for you. It should ease your pain. Here, drink deep. Thank you, Casty. I'm already feeling better. I recommend you get some rest. Sleep will aid the medicine in its work. <laughs> you haven't changed one whit, Casty. What was it that you always said? I don't remember. I've lost my memory. <sighs> yes. I only wish to extend a helping hand to all in need. Uh. Even without your memories, you are still the same old Casty. Rosa. Uh. Casty, if I may have a word. I guess Greg stole Melia. I found this out front. A letter? Apothecary, we have Malia. If you ever want to see her again, come to the tavern in the thieves' quarter. Alone. Malia. I've searched the whole manor and there's no sign of her anywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear. What will I tell Lady Rosa? Nothing. I will get her back. Where is the tavern they spoke of in the letter? On the north side of town. But the thieves' quarter is too dangerous. People get robbed there. No. No. You can't mean to. No. The thieves' quarter? I do. People get I robbed? To rescue her. I don't believe her. But. Stay with Rosa and don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Casty. Blech. Hunt is the worst. Why would you use people as bait to lure in other people? I do something tastier. Oh, Chet. Sometimes humans say they'll do one thing, then do another, right? Yes, people lie for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, but if everyone says things they don't mean, how do you know what if, if what they're, you're hearing is true or not? It must be so tiring thinking about it all the time. Hm. You make a good point. Still, sometimes the truth only causes pain. That's why we tell small fibs, to slowly feel each other out, learn how to interact without causing mutual pain. Strange as it may sound, in a sense, deceit is the basis of human relationships. H humans are complicated. Hm. Sometimes falsehoods can be a kindness, Ochet. That's true. Also, it's a good thing I have a thief with me to go into the thieves' quarters. You know what I mean? Like, what's up, dude? What you got for me to steal? Old cloth? 3%? What's... I'm not even gonna try. 3%. 
Yeah, people, I have a hard time. Let's go. Well, 32%. We got it in one. Hmm. You'll enjoy a greater chance of success when stealing items from the residences. I've already stolen everything. <laughs> how, how much of a greater percent chance? It's five times. It's not too bad. What are you going on here? What's up, buddy? Excuse me. What? I'll take. Nope. Nothing worth while. You deserve that. I find it really funny that I can mug people with him. I need a plan. Strike them down. You're finished. Study harder. I just wanted the silver filled pouch. A worthwhile. Hmm. He'd be tough to kill. Okay. Um, before I go in there, ooh, I'm going to grab this treasure <laughs> that I didn't see earlier. <laughs> um, I'm going to go save because it's time for another break. And then we're going to finish this chapter up. So I probably won't play for too much long. Actually, you know what? No break. We'll just finish this chapter up and then we'll call it good for the evening. A little earlier than usual for me for today. But I accomplished more than I expected to. So there's that. Malia. Now, now. Not another step. Or what? You're going to walk towards me menacingly with a couple of people? What have you done to Malia? Oh, don't worry about her. I'm a pacifist at heart. I gave her a little something to put her to sleep. Much like I gave my aunt something to kill her. What do you gain by this treachery? Oh, that's easy. I want you to stop ministering to Rosa and get out of my town. You want that title that badly? I'm a visionary. I'm going to turn this backwater burg into a thriving metropolis, like Clockbank. But that fool Rosa is too stuck in the past to see the future. Eventually, I started thinking. I could do a better job than her. I could change this town. You would pressure her now, when she's battling a mortal illness? It's for her own good. She should give the town to me and retire so she can focus on recuperating. 
I've almost got her convinced, but you're going to ruin all my hard work. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Leave, and I promise I'll send Malia home. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. Could you shut up already? Let's get to the point. You want this busybody gone, right? There's an easier way to make her disappear. Uh, hold on. What are you planning? Depends on what she values more. Her money or her life. Stop! I hired you to stand there and look menacing. Nothing more. If you walk out that door right now, I'll pretend like none of this ever happened. Mick! Mac! Yeah, boss? Little Miss Tough Girl here is on her way out of town. Show her the boot, and take her purse for the trouble. Hey, I'm aren't, coming, Malia. aren't Mick and Mac... Oh man, her sprite is dope. Aren't Mick and Mac the name of the two that... Our tresses, uh, chapter one. What to do? What to do? What to do, indeed. Him. Ready? You? Him. Hmm. Pierce the winds of frost. Oh, okay. Here we go. animator too even better ready um As well. Back on my feet. 
Yep. Yeah, that works. Okay, that's cool. Well, could have been worse. Like that. that that's worse. Um. Watch me. Now go. Did I lose a turn? I must have lost a turn. That sucks. It really sucks. Um. Shit. I need to know what else you are Let weak to. You. Okay. 8,000 health left. She did. I take what I want. <laughs> this... This 
wasn't supposed to happen. It's not my place to judge you for your crimes. Examine your deeds and your heart, and if you find them wanting, become a better person. Tell Rosa what happened here. <laughs> Malia, are you all right? I am now. Thanks, Cassidy. Let's go home, shall we? Your mother must be worried. I cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us, Casty. I need no thanks. I merely did what was right. Here, your medicine. You'll stay in bed and rest now, understood? How long did we stay there? Melia Glenville's 12th birthday. It's a shitty birthday present. Thanks, Mom. Call. Mother. Lily. Yes, my lady. I thank you for your loyalty to House Glenville. Lady Rosa, don't leave us. Greg. I yes? I leave our town in your hands. Yours and Malia's both. Listen to our people. Care for them. And make our home better place I will I promise so you promise me we'll see it together <laughs> thank you Greg Cass T Rosa It looks like Rosa has something she wants to talk about. I should inquire and give her a chance. Really? You're gonna make me... Well, I guess I can read it at my own pace instead of having to listen to her try and spit it out. Hold on, before I do that. Rosa's nephew, he aims to assume control of the Glenville estate and accelerate Winterbloom's development. While he means well, his hasty and presumptive nature failed to endear him to anyone. This latest incident has caused him to reflect on his words and deeds. Thank you. Already got that information. Can't get nothing from her. Yep. The ruler of Winterbloom. She's only 35. Damn. 
She suffers from an incurable disease, though the medicine she takes helps prolong her life. Her daughter, Malia, is to succeed her when she comes of age. So Rosa is determined to live until her dear daughter's birthday. There we go. Casty. Do you think I'll last until my daughter's birthday? Be strong, Rosa. You want to live to see Malia follow in your footsteps, right? Mm. I do. But that is only what I want for her as head of my household. Hmm? What I really want for my child is for her to be happy. <laughs> when I admit it aloud like that, I find that I no longer care a fiddle about the succession. I just want to live long enough to celebrate her birthday one last time. Nothing more. Rosa. Thank you. It's thanks to your skill that I still drop breath. No, Rosa. It's not my skill that sustained you, but your own strength. Malia... I have a present for you. I give this to you. The brooch of joy. Giving me your brooch? Happy birthday, my angel. Thank you, mother. I'll cherish it always. I promise you, I'll grow up to be a kind and just ruler, just like you. So don't worry about me, mother. to go so soon I I wanted to thank you for everything you did for my mother I promise you I'll continue to tend the garden those herbs will be used to heal all who need them <laughs> I know you'll be a kind and just leader Malia oh I almost forgot to ask how is Mr. Trousseau? Who? Trousseau? He was such a nice man. It'd be lovely to see him again. Ah, is he the one that went crazy? Oh, don't tell me you forgot all about him too. Forgot all about everybody. Come on now. How this works. I've never heard that name before. I wonder who he could be. Are we getting another one? No, oh, let's go. Malia met a young. <clears throat> Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, a little dry bit in my throat there. <clears throat> Malia met a young man by the name of Trousseau when Casti and the rest of Ayr's apothecaries came through Winterbloom. Malia had never met someone so kind of heart, and the two soon grew close. She has me caring for her after all. He is the one that went crazy. You're right. I can tell by the voice. I have to save her. I have to save her. I won't let Malia cry. I can't. I promised Yorna. But Rosa's illness is incurable. And I've only just begun studying the healing arts. Damn it. Damn it. I'm worthless. Worthless. Huh? Who are you people? Heirs Apothecaries. We heard someone named Rosa was in need of healing. And it is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. <sighs> I remember now. To extend a helping hand to all those in need. That was our creed. The driving purpose of Heirs Apothecaries. It was in this town I met that young man named Trousseau, but... Just who was he? It's no use. My memory is a blank. It was something important. I remember that much. But what? <sighs> I won't remember anything sitting here. I need to continue my journey if I'm to have any hope of recovering what was lost to me. Yeah, but where do we go next? In a frozen town surrounded by snow, Casti discovers a fragment of who she used to be. To extend a helping hand to all those in need. The heir's apothecary's creed, and a thread that will guide her to her lost memories. Though piece by piece she is reassembling her past, what will she find when the puzzle is complete? Casti the Apothecary, Chapter 2 Winterbloom Route, End Sigh and winter bloom. Names discovered in my log, and gleaming waystones to guide me on my journey. Visiting those towns jogged loose forgotten memories. Memories of my life before, of when I was one of Heir's apothecaries. of that rain. Yeah. Where'd she come from? Malaya? What are you doing here? 
It's been a slow process, but I've remembered some of what I'd forgotten. We knew each other once, didn't we? Yes, we did. Like you, I was part of Heirs Apothecaries. What happened? Why did you lie to me? Why did you pretend not to recognize me? <laughs> Tell me, Malaya. I can't answer that, Casti. The village of Helix. Ring a bell? Oh. Helix? <sighs> this memory. I'll be waiting for you there. Malaya. Okay. Helix. Is that where I'll find Heirs Apothecaries? What happened there? I can't remember. I need to see for myself. It's the only way to remember everything. I respect you, Casty. Why? You never lost your composure when dealing with that brat, Greg. My hand went for my dagger at the very sight of him. He's cheeky, selfish, cowardly, and whiny. Not to mention he has the most pretentious haircut. I can't stand him. Believe me, I understand where you're coming from. Still, he's trying to do his best in his own special way. He doesn't know how fortunate he is to have you on his side. I would have killed him three times by now. Then I'd have to had I'd have had to fix him up three times. All right. So where is this Helix? The abandoned village. Okay. I'm excited that this is essentially where I have to go for Ochet's chapter two. We're gonna keep, um, we're gonna keep Casty in the party for now. Level 31, what level is she at? 25, yeah, we, we did, we, we did have a fight there. Oh. Yeah, I'm missing what looks to be like two to four jobs still. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. All right. That'll do it for me for this evening. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, with some more of this, we'll finish, we'll do, um, this next part of chapter two for Throne. I think it's the father route. And then we're going to make our way up and we're going to finish up Ochet's chapter two. And then we'll be done with chapter twos entirely. We'll be on to chapter threes. Slowly, but surely making progress into the game and I'm going to attempt to put a bunch of time into this game this weekend I make zero promises because last weekend I had things come up I wasn't like feeling the best I just didn't want to get out of bed um, I'm feeling a lot better this week so well, here's hoping that this continues to go on until the weekend and then I can put in a boatload of time also time change this weekend so you know we have that to look forward to yay i'm so excited 
so very excited. Either way, thanks for joining me once again. I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. Hope to stop by again in the future. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>